This is Mike with TabariOutpost.com. In this Photoshop Tips session, I'm going to show you how to use the Radial Blur Filter to give your comic pages a little bit of dynamic energy. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to separate your black line work from your white background so they can act independently. Because a filter is applied to a layer, it's a good idea to make a copy of the original. We're going to apply the filter to the black lines layer, so let's make a copy of that. To do that, just right click on the layer and hit duplicate layer. You can rename it or leave it as it is. And then let's turn off that layer and just keep it for safekeeping. Now going back to the black lines layer, a radial filter, radial blur filter, gives uh, motion in an outward direction from a center point. Uh, this is great for explosions. Uh, it's probably the best use for it in comics. And as you can see, I got a little exploding uh, satellite here. So we're going to apply the filter to this panel here. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, kind of select all of that. And I'm just going to select the whole thing. So let's pick that. And then I just kind of want to uh, I want to preserve my, uh, my edges here. So uh, I'm going to remove uh, some of the marquee with you know the subtract from selection here so I'm just going to kind of select border here anywhere where I can actually touch the edge so here here down at the bottom here and then just a little bit of this panel Now the next thing I want to do is um, I want to go up to the uh, filter pull down menu and let's select blur and let's go down to radial blur. Now there's two different effects. Now the, the spin will make it look like it's kind of rotating and the zoom will look like it's it'll blur the edges more than the center here. So you can kind of see how much is changed uh, by doing this slider here. And obviously the, the larger the number, the more uh, it stretches from the center. So let's, let's just kind of let's pick somewhere around 20 to start with just to see what it looks like. Uh, unlike the uh, motion blur tool, this does not give us a preview as we're sliding the slider. So uh, you kind of have to do a trial and error and see how it looks. So let's hit OK. And uh, that looks pretty pretty good to start with. Um, yeah, it, it's nice because it keeps the center mostly intact and then just kind of just obscures it more and more as, as you go outward. Uh, again, this is a trial and error thing. Um, I might want to go back and redo this because I, I don't want this as blurry as it is. But I really like what's going on here. This looks really good. It looks like it's really just kind of exploding out. Uh, the star trails here are, are really just stretching and, and that just that just really looks kind of cool so um, again this is the the original here looks like that and then we switch over to to this and then that's how to uh, apply a, a radial uh, blur filter um, you know do some trial and error see what looks good but, uh, but that's basically it so thank you for watching this comic book Photoshop tutorial. For information on my ebook, How to Create and Publish Your Own Comic Book, for information on Spectre Comics, or more Photoshop comic book video tips, visit tabarioutpost.com.